give it up for Avery Edison. Stool really is very broken. Okay. Um, yeah, so I should probably start. For those who haven't seen me before, you know, performing or whatever, um, no, I won't sign any of your modeling contracts. <laughs> I have a life outside of Vogue and Cosmopolitan and Architecture Digest. <laughs> that last one isn't, they don't usually do fashion, but um, they are apparently fans of good structure. I have been I have been offered modeling jobs before because that's something that's um, is, is very common to transgender women. And yep, that's the subtlest way I have to <laughs> break that news. I can see some some people in the audience reconsidering their first impressions now. Because no one, no one knows what's happening down here now, do they? I mean, we can we can see something has clearly happened up here, and it's all good news. <laughs> but down here's a mystery, isn't it? And the way I'm sitting isn't helping. Anything, anything could be going on. Anything, it's cruel. Uh, I should clarify, I, yeah, I was, I was born a boy and I still have uh, a penis. So, uh, you know, that's, that, that's something that weighs heavily on me. <laughs> yes, I am bragging. <laughs> when people um, first find out that I'm, that I'm transgender, sometimes they'll say things like, uh, Oh, but you're, you said so gorgeous, or um, you said so beautiful, or uh, you're so attractive, or God, you're like you're you're ruining womanhood for the rest of us. <laughs> like, you know. um, one time someone said uh, they said your your doctor must have been amazing, and that's kind of offensive um, because this is this is like this is all me. Like, I grew these. And, you know, I mean, I took pills to do it, but I, I, I grew them. Um, the, those pills that I took, uh, I, I take six milligrams of estrogen every day. And uh, I recently found out that the combination of that estrogen and the testosterone already in my system means I will always give a false positive on pregnancy tests. <laughs> So if you're wondering if I have a cool party trick, <laughs> yes, yes, I do. That's that's so stupid. I'm not sure what the what the trick would be. That like, do I do I go into the bathroom and like pee on the test and then th and, like come out and like, hey guys, look, I'm you know I'm pregnant, positive, because then I could just be pregnant. Uh, and that's that's not something that's going to hold up long term. Like it's, it's going to be pretty obvious in a few months, definitely in nine months. Um, yeah, and and so I guess the only option is to whip out my cock and pee on the stick in front of everyone, and then three minutes later, everyone's like. Wait, you have a, what? <laughs> what, is, what is happening right now? It's a useless skill, is what I'm saying. Uh, unless you want to be like patient of the week on house. Excuse me, are you, are you Dr. House? Yes, I'm taking some Vicodin pills. You have to help me, I'm pregnant. Or 50,000 girls in Mississippi. At least you've got all your teeth. But you don't understand. I was born a man. That's the 
of you two. So, look out of that. My episode is airing next week. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a lesbian, which is... Uh, it's a tough thing to be when you've, when you've got a dick. Sometimes I'll, I'll get asked out by, uh, by, you know, a girl, a woman. And, um, and you know, I like, to, I like to be up front and say, you know, I'm, I'm transgender, so if that's an issue for you, that's fine. And then the offer of a date gets rescinded. Um, and I don't really have an argument for that. Like, yeah, penises are gross. Good call. <laughs> Would not want to deal with one either. Like, I don't want you to have to look at my penis, you know? I don't want me to have to look at my penis. Like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'm still there. Boo -boo. <laughs> Sucks. Um, just, I, if there are any... For the women in the audience, the other women, um, if you see me in the ladies' washroom, and like it can be awkward for some people, they can get uncomfortable. I'll try and make I'll try and make it as like I'm not going to be going. Where's the urinal? Like, <laughs> don't worry. I'll I'll go into the stall. I'll sit down, even though I don't need to. Not bragging, but. <laughs> I'll, I'll maybe, uh, I'll pretend to, to roll the toilet paper, like I'll make that noise, even though I don't need it. Um, and maybe I'll even do like, like some scene work. Like I'll, like I'll go, well, guess it's time to insert a tampon for my period. <laughs> what? There's already one in here. But I haven't menstruated in weeks. <laughs> Guess that explains that toxic shock syndrome I've been having. <laughs> Just another day in the life of having a vagina that I have and have had for a long time now. <laughs> since birth. <laughs> Say, is anyone else concerned about HPV? <laughs> That's what I'll be doing in the bathroom. <laughs> you ever feel hot? You ever like? T you ever tell a large group of people something really intimate about yourself? It's weird. Um, the the question people most often ask when they find out I'm transgender is uh, is how did your parents take it? Um, and, uh, like my mom, before I was born, she had a, she had a, a, a son, John, who died. And I've, I've done some performances about that whole thing before. And they, and they, I mean, they sort of had me to replace him, really. Um, and so when I came out, I said, you know, mom, I, I'm, I'm going to be a, a girl from now on. She said it was kind of like... It was kind of like losing her son all over again. In my defense, She's the one who rented Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> that movie doesn't make sense, by the way. <laughs> like, Robin Williams just happens to have a cream pie in the fridge when that woman comes to visit. <laughs> He's 
not going to eat a whole cream, but he's a, he's a bachelor. <laughs> Bachelors that have whole pies in the fridge. <laughs> great. Uh, this has been great. You've been... I should really check, make sure there's nothing else really personal. I, I forgot to... <laughs> No, and that's pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, I used to masturbate to some pictures that I later found out were of my mum when she was younger. <laughs> Is that good? Should I do a set about that next time? Yeah. Right. Can't masturbate now, of course. Like the estrogen is like chemically castrated. Penis has shrunk actually. It's um, it's now it's smaller than the surrounding testicles, which I'm pretty happy about because it's good to see the underdogs. <laughs> um, All right, you've been uh, a great crowd, and uh, I've been Avery Edison um, for about three years now. Um, Thank you very much. Let's bring back Sarah Hennessy.